this is a very, very exciting day for the channel. Because if you guys seen my couple of videos ago, I bought that sneak boat. So today I had something come in the mail and that is a mud skipper kit. And we're gonna put it together in the garage. Garage is a mess because I, I got like six projects going right now. Which you guys will have to stay tuned. So if you guys want to see those projects, I got an ice fishing house going on. I got uh, the boat. I got some other, yeah, there's other projects that uh, you guys see in the uh, Jeep and everything. So hopefully we'll be knocking them out before duck season. But we are going to get the boat for sure done before duck season. So we're knocking this today. So if you guys want to hit that sub button, go ahead and do me a favor. Hit that sub button. Well, let's get into today's build. All right, so I went to Harbor Freight and I picked this baby up. This is a six and a half Predator motor. And then I got the two to seven horsepower mud motor, long tail. And I am super excited to be able to use this mud motor because I'll be able to get into some places that people won't be able to get with an outboard. So yeah, just excited to build this thing. So I'm not gonna do a step-by-step because -step, the step-by-step -step is done in some other videos. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is kind of do a time-lapse and I'll do a review on this thing while it's out on the water. So I'm gonna take this baby out in the water. Uh, this is my first time seeing this. I opened up this kit because I got the kit before I got the motor because the motor was not in stock. But now she's in stock and I got it on sale. So that's one of the most important steps was to have the boat in here. All right, so we got it all put together. Uh, I gotta tighten a few things, yeah, but tomorrow I have to get some fuel for it and some oil. Uh, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited to get this thing out on the water. Uh, it's a little long than I, what I thought, and I've never ran a long tail, so hopefully that having the extra length will be all right. What my idea was is when I do get a boat, that I can just take this right off and put it on there because I want to go to that 14, 16 foot uh, range of a boat uh, for a flat bottom and be able to run the rivers and everything like that with this thing. So yeah, hopefully it's not too heavy, but we're going to take it out on the water and test it anyways. Maybe I'll sink it and it'll be a botch and I'll start over again. So anyways, I'll see you guys when I get everything.
All right, guys, it's a big day. We're gonna actually take it out for once. Uh, it's actually teal, teal opener this week, but I decided I'm gonna go out in the afternoon and take this out, get comfortable with it, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. Anyways, uh, I'm using my cell phone because all my GoPros are dead, and then Shania's gonna get footage of me, hopefully, on the shoreline. But, yeah, here we go. I'm gonna get going now. So I gotta paddle out past these rocks. Good. So there, recording. There's some rocks out here, so I'm gonna paddle a little bit because I don't want to break my uh, my crop. All right, so I kind of wanted to see it in perspective how I'm gonna hunt. So like, this is the water. I'll probably have like some reeds around me. So like, maybe something like over there or tuck myself in to like farther in the weeds over there. But I could do this cause I'm gonna have, we're gonna blind it after this video. But with the layout, uh, just be chilling like this. I'll have my life jacket off because that sucker's thick. And then we're gonna paint this too. Yeah, looks pretty good. All right, so I have my wife recording me. Uh, I wanted to show you guys a little bit closer. to show you guys i built this so now this goes like perfectly so i'm not sliding around pretty slick and then i just ratchet strapped well it's cut a ratchet strap so yeah now i got myself a little seat got the backrest now so today was kind of a short video I apologize I uh, really forgot to charge the old GoPro batteries 
uh, so I could have a first person. I also thought I was going to be able to use my phone, but you kind of need two hands around that mud motor. Uh, but yeah, six and a half stroke, oh, stroke, ha horsepower Predator motor on the 84 inch mud skipper. So pretty sweet little unit there. Uh, sweat on this compared with this beaver tail is pretty nice. I mean, can't go wrong. The only thing that I gonna notice is I, in the morning it's gonna kind of suck being by myself and everything uh, going out on these trips but I'll get the hang of it and we'll be just a lot more comfortable that's why I wanted to bring it out before I go hunting get comfortable with it so then when duck actual duck season comes we're just ready to go it's teal season right now so I've been just doing some walk-ins uh, you guys haven't seen those videos they'll be uh, down in the playlist at the end where it says duck hunting click that and I'll have some uh, videos for you guys so check those out and also hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss a single upload from me so hope you guys liked this video and if you guys did go ahead and go to the bottom smash the like button comment anything that you think I should do to this thing because we're gonna build a blind we're gonna camouflage it some more we're gonna camouflage the mud motor and I don't know what else you guys have to say so thank you all for watching see you guys on the next one peace